I'd like to talk about suture bridge fixation for posterior cruciate ligament tibial avulsion fracture in children. We have nothing to disclose. The patient was placed in the prone position on a standard operating table. Surgery was performed using a modified Burke's approach. A skin incision was designed by smoothly curving the lateral limb just below the crease of the hind knee to the vertical limb along the medial gastrocnemius muscle. A sterile tourniquet was placed on the upper thigh of the leg to be operated on. A skin incision is made as scheduled. A blunt incision in the deep fascia progresses along the medial head of the gastrocnemius muscle. Developing a plane between the semimembranosus tendon and the medial head of the gastrocnemius muscle, the latter laterally protects the gastrocnemius muscle. Incisions in the dorsal root of the oblique popliteal ligament and joint capsule outside the dorsal root of the medial meniscus. Identify and dissect the bone fragments and footprint. After dissecting the footprint and bone fragment, confirm that reduction is possible by threading the bone fragment and pulling it. Two soft anchors were placed on site. The suture was passed between the PCL and the bone fragment. And the bone fragment was reduced by 90 degrees flexion of the knee joint. The suture was pulled in, crossed, and anchored distally around the footprint. Finally, it will be firmly fixed to the surface like this. After surgery, the patient wore a knee brace, and only gentle ROM training with physical therapist was allowed for four weeks. Then, partial weight-bearing according to pain was allowed. Allow the return to sports in stages according to the recovery of muscle strength and the stability of the affected side's movements. Thank you for your attention.